What is up, people of YouTube? I'm your host, Vernon. This is Nesbit Lake. Let's fish that. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we made our way out here to Nesbit Lake. First time fishing out here. It's about two hours drive north of Las Vegas. Uh, down in the video description, I will put a link to find Nesbit Lake. All right, but you guys know what my face looks like. So I'm just gonna put on some shades just to get out of the sun a bit. Uh, the plan for today was to uh, spend a lot of time out here seeing what fish we can catch. But this lake, unfortunately, this time of the year is filled with grass. It's something like 100 to 150 feet worth of grass before you start seeing some open water. Uh, that of course makes it very difficult to fish here. Uh, at the moment we are at the boat launch area. It's a bit open here for a few feet. I'm gonna throw a few lures around to see if we can get some bass up in the shallows. Maybe throw around some frogs on the grass to see whether we get anything. But the plan for today is going to be changing. We are not going to be fishing Nesbit, but we are going to make our way down, maybe try Piranagit and a few other spots along the way. So let's see what we can get out there. All right, so kind of lucky to get that one tiny little bass using a little Ned rig. Also tried with the frog. Uh, got three or four uh, big blow-ups where they grab the little frog. Uh, but I think these fish are just too small to get the entire frog at the mouth. I think they're only grabbing the legs, getting no hook sets on them. I think this is a type of place where if you have a kayak and you can get out a bit deeper, maybe find some of the bigger fish. But at the moment, it's very difficult to fish here with all the grass. So let's move on to the next spot. All right, guys, I just had to make that one last cast. Didn't have the camera rolling. We finally managed to get a bass on top water. Tiny little guy on the, on the little frog using 40 pounds test line. So I can drag this actually through the grass to quickly get this fish unhooked. Tiny little largemouth bass and some salad along with that. And that is why you always need to try that one last cast. You never know when the fish might actually hit. Let's get him back into the water. Alright guys, getting him back. Gonna make one big splash. And off he goes. And that actually is my first ever bass caught on a little topwater frog. So another little thing to tick off the list for finally catching a fish on. All right, ladies and gents. Uh, so far, it's actually been a successful day catching those little bass. And uh, Nesbit Lake, of course, has uh, some largemouth bass, some bluegill, uh, even some crappie. I don't know about carp or anything like that. I wanted to test out there to see what's in those waters so if you've ever caught any fish down there please go down in the comments and tell us what fish are out there a few miles south of that is uh, Frenchy Lake 
a lot of the same, lots of long grass around and you cannot actually drive to the water. You have to park in a certain area and hike all the way to the little lake. Uh, so we did not stop there, which brings us to where we currently are. We are back at Piranagat. We are at the second part or the lower part of the upper Piranagat Lake. And the water in this lake was actually very low the last time I was out here. This time around it's a lot higher, seeing some fish around. So I'm going to try fishing in this marsh to see what we can get out there. But I also quickly want to use this time to say thank you to everyone who commented in the last video where I asked about the little competition and the giveaway. Uh, thank you guys for all the feedback. I think the common idea is that we prefer multiple prizes, a second, first and a third place. Uh, in the next video I'll give you guys how to enter in the competition as well as the rules and stuff. Uh, a lot of you guys seemed eager to do some fishing with me but of course we have all sorts of rules and regulations and stuff we first need to figure out. So I'll bring you guys more information on that in the next video. Now let's do some fishing. All right so the last time I was out here water was a lot lower. You could see some submerged trees and stuff. I think that would be great structure to find some fish. I'm going to cast around there Unfortunately, we're having some smoke blow in from California, from some of the fires around there. So I can't even see the mountains on the other side there. So much smoke in the air. But still, lovely day out here. Let's see if we can get any fish. Water temperatures here at Paranagat Lake is a lot cooler than it is at Lake Mead. It's actually quite refreshing to be in the water. Walking around in the water so I can get next to these tulis try and find some fish close to them. I think we might have a small fish on. I was still on the fall, but indeed we have something. It's again on a little Ned rig. Tiny little, very pale, largemouth bass. Yeah. There we go, guys. First largemouth bass from Piranagate Lake. Nice, fat, bulky one. Now at least we know that there are some bass in these waters. Just want to get the fish some oxygen. Good thing about being in the water. Nice little largemouth bass. It's been pretty good bass day today. Let's get this guy back into the water. Let's see if he'll do a little dance for us. Want to try and revive him some. Oh, and off he goes. Trying to keep the head above water. That way, if the fish kicks off, they do a little jump out of the water. But that one wasn't going for it, just went straight down. Alright, so this particular spot we're in grants us a nice access to the water. However, fish aren't necessarily going to be sitting in the middle of the water for no good reason, uh, especially bass. As the sun gets up, they want to find some shade, either going to rock or submerge trees, or like we have here, the little reeds and tulies. They love hiding in there. Maybe they'll come out to get some of your lures and stuff if you run past there. So a great way to actually cast next to this is to get into the water. Now if you don't have waders, I suggest getting some water shoes. Uh, this is just a safer way to get into the water. You don't want to be stepping on uh, some snagged fishing gear in the water and stuff like that. You just need some shoes for a little bit of protection. And you walk slowly and you find your footing. Uh, never lift one foot if the other foot's not securely on the ground. Walk slowly, 
make your way past these and then you have some more fishing areas that you can access. Now of course I'm not saying there won't be fish in the deeper waters uh, but finding a specific fish in a specific spot you have to be very lucky whereas structure is a great place to try and find the fish so I'm going to be casting around here for a while. And here we have proof of what I'm saying why it's better to have some water shoes. You're always going to find some lures whether it be stuck in some bushes or someone's rig that broke off laying on the ground but nice little inline spinner thank you to whoever lost it in these little reeds for donating it to the channel all right guys we think we have something small on the hook My wife's busy bringing it in A small little carp and unfortunately we didn't uh, want to keep any carp today we didn't bring any coolers or anything like that but as is the rules of this body of water we're not allowed to release any carp let's quickly see if we can get them in past these rocks this little carp is on night crawlers he didn't go for the corn a skinny little guy but beautiful colors on him beautiful patterns oh, also, it's hooked through the lips and then again through his jaw so double hooked up he's not going to get off there without our assistance Need to get some pliers? Yes, yes. Okay. Alright guys, because we're not releasing this fish, we can spend some time with him. Lovely colours on this one, the gold and the bronzes, and then the red, lovely little golden, almost orange colours on the belly as well. Like we said, I'm not gonna put this one back, so let's quickly put him out of his misery. Alright guys, to humanely dispatch this fish. All I'm going to do is going to cut down into his spinal cord, killing him instantly. Alright guys, I was quickly busy having some lunch, so the wife managed to get this rod again. I think we have another carp on seen the fish yet. It's a nice one. Bit bigger one. Now at this point I want to point out we are killing these carp because the uh, Paranagid management asked that every carp that you catch in these waters be removed from these waters. Uh, they don't want any fish released because there are too many carp uh, competing for food with the native fish in this body of water, so we need to remove these fish. So I'm putting it on the ground. Normally we don't want the fish bouncing around on the ground, but because we're not going to release these guys, it doesn't matter that much. Slightly bigger, but also skinny. So compared to the Lake Mead carp, you can clearly see that they're much skinnier than the carp that we typically see in Lake Mead. A good indication that there's really not enough food for the amount of carp in the water. All right, but let's get the hook out of him and get him just out of his suffering. All right, guys, same as before, just gonna cut down into the spinal cord to make sure the fish dies a quick and easy death. All right, ladies and gentlemen, wind started blowing, smoke started clearing out. It's looking a whole lot better out there. Not really the day that I was uh, planning out there, but I have to say a very successful day. Uh, we landed quite a few fish. Uh, happy to have gotten a few bass out there, especially at Nesbitt Lake. I would love to go there, perhaps early in spring when the grass isn't that long already. Still had a pretty good day out here at uh, Peranagate as well. 
like I said we didn't intend to come here but that's how fishing works you can't always plan everything to a T uh, but I want to thank you guys for following us out here please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video if you've not subscribed to the channel yet please do hit the big red subscribe button join my community uh, feel free to ask any questions down below in the comments thank you guys for watching I'll see you next time